six days a week, 12 hour shifts. You can always do something right, even if it's going wrong. Is this what you want to do, or is there something else you would like to do? Get a mentor. We live a life of abundance. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the show, Coffee with Kunal. This morning, I have an excellent, excellent person with us, Tammy. Yay! Tammy, how are you doing today? I am excited to be here. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for the coffee. Well, Tammy is one person you've got to know if you service the Houston market, whether you're a realtor or you're a builder salesperson. Officially, Tammy has a title and she works with Johnson Development, which is Realtor Relations Extraordinaire. Did I say that right? You did. And you should have saw me when I had to try to figure out how to spell it to put it on the business card. But so I got it. Say it in your own words. Okay. Realtor Relations Extraordinaire. Wow. That's <laughs> exceptional. Tell us about your journey. I know you were not born in Texas. Right. You lived in different states, different cities, yep. and you moved to Houston a few years back. Walk us through your journey, Tammy. I would be happy to because, you know, that's something nobody asks me about. I'm always talking about work. Yes. So I was Today, asked, it's all about Tammy. <laughs> as it should be because it's my birthday month. It is. Yes. Um, so I was actually born in Fresno, California. And then uh, they shipped me to Oklahoma pretty fast. So I grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then from there, I just kind of stayed around that area. Um, actually graduated in Okmulgee, Oklahoma. Okay. Yes, it's not far from Tulsa. And um, moved here 15 years ago. My to husband Texas. had a better, yes, here in Texas. My husband had a better career opportunity here in the golfing industry. And so we pulled up our roots and we brought them here. And I love it now. And was it to Houston that you moved to? It was. Actually, yes. He took a job at Royal Oaks Country Club okay. um, over off of Westheimer. So we were in that area for a while till we figured out where we wanted to go. And so then we went um, into the Katy area. And wow. that's where my daughter, who she was 12 when we moved here. So she was turned 13. Her first birthday was she turned 13, hit the big teenage years. And then we moved to Katy. Interesting. So, Katie area for 15 years. Walk us through your professional career, how you've grown as a professional in the Houston market. Well, you know, it's it's kind of funny. Um, it, it, my background is actually not something people expect to, to hear because I actually worked in municipality and government work oh, wow. um, before I moved to Texas. That was in Oklahoma? That was in Oklahoma, okay. yes. And I brought it here a little bit, but um, so the last position I held in Oklahoma was Owasso, Oklahoma. Okay. And um, I worked in human resources uh, for the city of Owasso. Hiring and firing? Yeah. That oh, was a big part of it. I sure cannot was. imagine Tammy firing anyone. <laughs> Luckily, I had other people with me because I was the nice one. <laughs> so you would just delegate the, the bad part? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the hiring yeah. would be on your plate? <laughs> I'd be like, I want that one. <laughs> Okay. But yes, and I actually did really boring stuff like OSHA compliance. Oh, really? Yeah, and so the OSHA, the state OSHA inspector would come out, and I would actually actually have to go with him out on properties and go to like our sewer or wastewater treatment plant and walk the facility. Wow. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Time you doing it? No. <laughs> uh, and then workers' compensation, all of that kind of stuff. And then I moved here, and I really had a struggle for the first two or three years in Texas. Did you, when you first moved, did you actually just start working right away, or no, were you transitioning? I was, I was just trying to figure out what I was going to do here. And so everything's different, you know, in Texas than in Oklahoma, just because it's on a much bigger scale. And it's not like you jump in your car and you're at work five minutes later. Here, I took a job in the med center at the University of Texas Family Medicine, and I, I tell you what, I took a, a plane, train, automobile, helicopter, bus. I mean, it was like such a commute wow. to get there from over from by Katie. Royal Oaks. Well, at that time, we were still in the, in the Houston okay. area. But yeah, so it was quite a journey. I even sold cars once at Mack Hike Chevrolet. You did? <laughs> How long was that for? <laughs> About six weeks, probably. I did good, though. I sold cars. You did. But I hated it. I worked six days a week. When you're new and you've got yeah. to establish yourself, I mean, you work, and not just the six days a week. That's not the issue. It's the 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. And so I was missing out on all my daughter's soccer and everything like that. So that just wasn't 
I wasn't cutting it. So six days a week, 12 hour shifts. Yeah. While you were enjoying the sales aspect of it, the time commitment was not aligned with your, you know, you know, expectations with at yeah. home, spending time with your daughter. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. So that happened for six weeks. Probably about six weeks. Okay. Yeah. Not that long. Long enough that I knew that that wasn't going to be the thing I was going to stick with. So, okay. and that's then I went back to the family medicine area where they had a different position, which was in a human resources type role. Um, I did that for a little while, but it just, it was just on a bigger scale, you know, mm -hmm. like over a hundred doctors that were reporting in their PTO, PTO, FMLA. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting in this little bitty office and everything came in through the computer. And can you see me working in an office? No. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I have a philosophy that every person is either an indoor cat or an outdoor <laughs> cat. You take an outdoor cat, put them indoor, oh, what a they'll mess. scratch up all the furniture. <laughs> and you take an indoor cat, put them outside, they'll be miserable. They would want miserable. to come in all the time. Yes. And you are an outdoor cat. You like human interaction. Yes. You like interacting with people. So right. what you were struggling with was, while your job profile may have been good, but you were missing interacting with people. Absolutely. So how long did that last? Um, I did that probably a couple of years. Okay. Yeah. And then... Um, there were some issues with an employee that I, you know, that just, I didn't have the backing of my supervisors. So I just walked in one day and this is something I'd never done in my life. I walked in and I said, you know what, I'm going to leave right now. I'm giving you a two week notice, but I'm leaving and I won't be back. Wow. <laughs> so that's how I ended my career with that position. Okay. Went out and looked online and thought, you know what, I think I'll apply with, uh, you know, a, a temporary agency. So I did, got a call. They had a part-time position out at Cross Creek Ranch and uh, just working like the front desk. And I thought I could do that for a while, you know, part-time, that's okay. And I went out, got hired immediately and within a month was full-time. Wow, so, so you got hired by Johnson to work at actually, the- Actually, no, no. Johnson okay. Development didn't own Cross Creek then, Trendmaker uh, development on um, right. Cross Creek. That's right. And they only hired through a temporary agency because they had a hiring freeze. So for the first whole year, I worked for the temp agency. The next year, uh, Trendmaker Development actually hired me as a full time employee. And wow. then the very next year, like almost right on my one year anniversary of being with Trendmaker Development, Johnson Development bought. Cross Creek Ranch. Cross Creek Ranch. And luckily mm -hmm. they hired me. What year was this time? That was 2012. 2012. So 20, 2011 you did temp work yep. at Cross Creek Ranch. 2010, Ten. temp. 2011, Trendmaker Development. Yeah. 2012, started with Johnson Development. Wow. looked like I changed jobs a lot, but I was at the same, <laughs> same place. Same location. And you were at the Information Center? Mm -hmm. that, yes. The beautiful one with a tower. Yes. Yeah, wow. with a 70 foot tower. So yes. temp to Trendmaker and Trendmaker over to Johnson. Yes. And Johnson has been in family for almost eight years now. Yeah, yeah, for wow. eight years, yes. And you know what's really funny is whenever I was doing that position is, well, they hired me, Johnson Development hired me to be the Welcome Center manager. So then I had to hire people to come in and work under me. Okay. And I had to take Saturday, Sunday off, which I fought. I loved having days off during the week. Uh -huh. I know that's not normal for people, but my, my daughter had gone off to college, you know, so why not? So um, then Susie Goff, she, she was our marketing director, guru, queen of all. She came to me a couple of months before she retired and she said, is this what you want to do or is there something else you would like to do? This was in uh, This would be in 2014, 2014, the end of 2014. Okay. And I said, you know, I'd really like to maybe work with realtors more and get out and represent Johnson Development Communities. Uh -huh. And this was like September by December. I had a new position and they said, give yourself a title. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you came really up with fast, that. I did. And I hurried up and made business cards because I was afraid they'd tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> so 2014, you transitioned into the new role. Yeah. And last five, six years have been incredible success for you because we all know about Johnson Development. They are a great developer in the Houston market. They're actually at a national level, yes. but there are a lot of developments happening over here oh, yes. in Houston market. Especially Fort Bend. 